welcome back in the previous step we saw that entity manager within a transaction keeps track of all the things that are managed by it so whenever you call entity manager dot persist entity manager dot merge or any of the methods on a specific object on a specific entity whatever changes that are done to that entity in the rest of the transaction are also tracked by the entity manager and persisted to the database let's look at another example so course is there so i'll create a course one as well so course one course one let's rename the course to course one and let's create a new one called course two so course two entity manager dot persist course two and course two dot set name that's cool right so now this course is persisted by uh, entity manager and this course one is also persisted by the entity manager let's give it a different name so it's no longer web services let's call this angular js and over here we are actually setting angular js in 100 steps updated you know what would happen when this gets started again right so the course one details get saved and the course do details also get saved so we would see two new courses web services in 100 steps angular js in 100 steps so that's what you would see you can stop the video here try and run the application and see what would happen entity manager also has a method called flush so entity manager dot flush so what entity manager dot flush does is it, uh, the changes which are done until then they would be sent out to the database so i can call entity manager at dot flush at multiple places so that the changes up to that point are sent out to the database so now you can see this specific transaction as four steps right so the first step is creating the course then we are updating the course one actually we are creating course one and updating course one and we are creating course two and updating course two let's say i don't want the course two changes to be going to the database so after this stage i don't want all the course two data details to go to the database at all how can i do that there's another method in entity manager so let's say entity manager dot detach course 2 so what would happen after this is the changes to course 2 are no longer tracked by the entity manager so what you would see that course 2 dot set name will not be executed if i kill the application and start again and go to the h2 console you'd see that the course 2 name remains at angular js in 100 steps application has started up you'd see that the updates which are done to the course 2 which was angular js in 100 steps are not being saved because after the detach method is called on a specific entity that entity is no longer tracked by the entity manager let's say i am creating the courses first let's say i move this stuff also down so course one dot set name the updates to the courses i'm actually moving them a little down I'll also remove the flush in here so that we kind of treat this now as two steps, right? So the first step is creation of all the courses, flush it so they are saved to the database. And then I'm detaching only course two for now. So what would happen if you run it? Only course two is detached. So the course one name would be set to web services in 100 steps, updated. However, the course two name will not be updated because course two is not tracked by the entity manager anymore. If I want to detach course one, then I can do this as well. So entity manager dot detach course one. You'd find that if you run this application and see the H2 console, you'd see that the data would be as it is here. So it would be web services in 100 steps and Angular JS in 100 steps. These updates will not be saved to the database because those entities are not tracked by the entity manager at all. The other way of not tracking entities is by clearing everything out so instead of calling detach on everything you can also say entity manager dot clear so this would clear everything that is there in the entity manager so it would clear out everything that is being tracked out by entity manager and everything including course one course two will not be tracked and whatever changes you make to them will not be flushed out will not be saved to the database let's kill the application start it again you would see that the data in the database would show these two values the updates will not be saved to the database let's refresh connect please run mm -hmm. 
So you can see the first two rows in here, web service in 100 steps, AngularJS in 100 steps. The updates are not saved to the database. So in this step, we looked at how you can have Entity Manager not track a few entities. So by default, Entity Manager tracks everything. If you want to untrack a few entities, you can say Entity Manager detach. If you want to clear everything out, you can call Entity Manager clear. Until the next step, bye bye.